Hiya fam! Welcome to my channel for another video. I'm really happy to have you guys here today. Welcome, welcome. I'm really excited. I got myself a new diamond painting kit. Yes, I know. I have more kits than I could possibly get through and complete and or work on. <laughs> like, I don't know. I have a lot. I have quite the collection building. Um, but it's just really hard when you see a piece of art that is so beautiful and you just really like and you don't want to miss out. The FOMO is so real. And Diamond Art Club, my favorite diamond painting company, that is no secret around here. I am not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. I just really like them. <laughs> I like them and I like the canvases I've gotten from them. Diamond Art Club just recently had an anniversary. I believe it was their fourth anniversary, which is awesome. Congratulations, Diamond Art Club, for starting a business and getting to where you guys are today. I can't wait to see where you go from here. Uh, <laughs> and uh, congrats on your anniversary sale. They released over 50 new designs and some of them were limited edition. Some of them were hard to get and they sold out really fast. It was just kind of a shark fest <laughs> trying to get what you wanted out of this drop. Um, because everybody was on at the same time trying to get the things that they had their eye on. So I looked at all the artwork and a few of them were really nice and I was like, you know, I like that. But because I'm so stacked and I have quite a collection of diamond paintings, I decided that it was probably good if I just chose one, my very favorite, and that would be what I allowed myself to get from the anniversary sale. So. I saw this one painting and it was totally up my alley. It is a rainbow and it's got flowers. So those are two of my very favorite things. Uh, I really like flowers and I guess that's something that I really haven't realized about myself before and I'm just suddenly, I'm just like, I really like flowers. Why do I like flowers so much? A lot of the things that I get for crafting has flowers in it. So I just like flowers. Rainbow, flowers, what did I get? I got rainbow flower power from the diamond art club anniversary sale i'm so excited about this one so it is a beautiful artwork by lars stewart never heard of him or had anything from him before i'm sure he's fabulous and it's just like this rainbow collage of a bunch of different floral flowers floral flowers. Is that a thing or is it? I, okay. Anyways, <laughs> just a bunch of different beautiful flowers. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I fell in love with this when I saw them do their sneak peek. As always, Diamond Art Club kits are all inclusive. They have everything you need to get started diamond painting. And I like to unbox them here on the channel just because it's fun. Um, there's a couple of reasons people, this one I think is not a limited edition, so they're going to stock this at least for a while in their shop. So I'm going to put the link in the description if you like it a lot and you would like to buy it for yourself. Cause I know sometimes I unbox things that are not available, but this is, this is available and it's new. Diamond Art Club kits are all inclusive. They have everything you need to get started diamond painting. They're great quality. They have a huge variety. And most importantly, their artwork is not stolen and it is legally licensed and their artists are compensated for allowing them to use their artwork and make a diamond painting, which I just love. What did you guys get in the anniversary sale? Comment down below. What did you get for yourself? Treat yourself, am I right? Ooh, I got a new version of their toolkit. Recently, Diamond Art Club has started transitioning over into a new version of their toolkit. Um, the old version was just fine, had everything you needed to get started, but this version has some extra goodies like washi tape and a cover minder and an upgraded tray. Ooh, we got a purple, I mean a purple. That is definitely not purple. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got in here. Woo! We got our baggies, in case you don't have a storage system and you like to kit up in baggies. We got a tray with a stopper, which if you have a Munime tray, then you don't need this. However, oh, whoa, 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 this is different. This is different than the trays that I've gotten in previous kits. It's harder. It's made out of a harder plastic. So I don't have 
it on hand. Let me actually, I'm gonna go get it. So this is a tray that I got in a previous new kit, so an old new kit. This one is made from a not totally transparent plastic and it is still kind of soft and flexible. It's kind of just like a cheapy plastic or whatever. Um, so it can easily get warped or bent or it might even come warped or bent. Like this one is just kind of, I don't know, just thin. <laughs> it does have gold glitter in it still and it is see-through but just not totally see-through. This is what I just received in the new package. This is where it's at. This is great. This is great quality. Um, this is made from a hard acrylic plastic and it is completely see-through and it has beautiful gold glitter in it and it has a stopper. So this will totally do. This is totally, totally doable for getting started diamond painting and completing diamond paintings. The stopper is a little bit like weird. <laughs> I mean, it works, but it's still a little bit, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, this will do. This will do, but of course, if you are looking to upgrade your diamond painting experience and you try diamond painting and you like it and you would like to continue diamond painting, I sell diamond painting trays in my shop. My shop is called Munamade. If you've never checked it out before, you can access it by going to munamade.com and we sell two different sizes of diamond painting trays. This is our large size, it is huge, and this is what we call our small size, but it's really kind of a true medium. But it sounds kind of weird to be like, this is our medium size, this is just like large and small. And <laughs> this, these are obviously upgrades to what you're gonna get in the kit. However, the I will say, the Diamond Art Club tray that they're giving you now is the best on the market that you're gonna find in a kit. So this one's pretty good, I'll give them that. It's pretty good, but I bet they don't have 60 plus color options like Munamade has, okay? We also have a large diamond painting tray, like so. And you can see how that stacks up, but that's great, honestly. That's, I mean, kudos to them for stepping up their toolkit. It does kind of, it's just a lot nicer than what they used to give in their kits and what typically comes in other kits. Okay, so let's see what else is in here. Of course, we already checked out the tray. We got baggies. We got a green sparkly pen and it comes with two multi-placers in this one. We have a four placer that you can get to place in a little bit faster and get your drills placed. And this one is a seven placer. These just stick right into the end of your pen like that. This is your single placer and this is your multi-placer. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wax, which is included, and just stab it. But before you do, some people don't realize that there's a plastic cover on these little heart-shaped wax things. Peel that back <laughs> or else it's not gonna work. They also give you this really cute little heart container now, which is really nice to contain your wax and make sure it doesn't get too dried out or pick up too much uh, cat or dog hair and get dirty. This is a square kit if I didn't say that yet already. And so it does come with tweezers, okay? <laughs> Which I feel like tweezers should come in all kits because I use tweezers on round kits too to pull up things that I put on accident maybe. Um, I don't know, tweezers are just good to have, but I do wish that Diamond Art Club would give the option to opt out of the toolkit or at least opt out of the, like, the pen and the tray and the tweezers because I already have so many of these. <laughs> and it just feels so wasteful. This is a little squishy thingy to put on the pen to make it a little bit more comfortable. I wish we could build what we wanted in our toolkit because it just seems wasteful. I don't use this stuff and so it just kind of goes to waste and it makes me sad because I don't like wasting. Wasting hurts my soul. Anyways, they are also now including, which I am very excited about, washi tape in their kits, which people use this to section off their canvases and divide it into smaller sections so it seems, it feels more doable and achievable. Um, you can also use this around the border where the glue overlaps a little bit just to make sure to keep all the dirt out um, or to finish off your diamond painting and frame it nicely and put it up on the wall. There's a lot of uses for washi tape and even outside of diamond painting, washi tape is an essential item for any crafter. Like there's so many uses. It's just a papery tape with a cute design on it. Mine has rainbow hearts. I like it. And it's it's a big roll. It's not a really sad roll. It's a it's a nice one. 
And last but not least, I got myself a cover minder. It mines your cover for you, exactly how it sounds. It's a magnet. You can literally use it as a fridge magnet if you would like. <laughs> Um, but what it's meant for is a cover minder. I don't know if it would be good as a needle minder because of the, all the, it's not very flat. Um, a needle minder when it comes to cross stitch or anything like that, but it's good for a cover minder. And what you do is you peel back the plastic cover and put one magnet on the bottom and put the other on top and it just holds it out of the way for you. So it doesn't keep flipping on top of where you're trying to work and gets really annoying. That is the upgraded Diamond Art Club Toolkit, which if I'm not mistaken, comes in most new kits and new releases that you're gonna get from Diamond Art Club, which is great. It's really, I mean, this is more than enough for what you need to get started diamond painting. If you've ever bought a diamond painting on Amazon, you will know, you will know that this is Great. This is a great little kit here to get you started. Let's dig into the good, good, the good stuff, you guys. I'm out of breath. Why am I out of breath? I just get so excited <laughs> and I'm just like flailing my arms around and yeah, this is my second unboxing I filmed in one go. So I'm just, whew, I'm sweating. I'm so sweating, y'all. I'm glad you can't see my face. So it comes with a sticker. You can use this in a log book or a journal or place it on the end of the box if you store your box on a shelf or something and you want to still be able to see what's inside of it with some information like it is square and it is a 38.6 inch by 27.6 inch or 98 centimeters by 70 centimeters it is quite large <laughs> large by Lars Stewart okay this is big. That's what she said. This is big. This is very big. Will it fit in my camera? You feel? Let's open from this end. Do what makes you sparkle. I will, Diamond Art Club. I will. Don't worry. Flowers. 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 So many flowers. And a succulent. Oh my god, you guys. This might, I haven't even finished unrolling it, and this might be my favorite diamond painting I've ever seen. Oh my god, I'm crying. I'm literally tearing up. Oh my god. I just love flowers. <gasps> and it's rainbow. Oh my god, guys, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. <gasps> the camera does not do it justice. Oh my god, you guys better run. Don't walk, I swear, to get this canvas. This is so nice. Holy heck, because the thing is, the thing is, when working on flowers in a diamond painting, I just think it's so much fun because you can kind of do one flower at a time or whatever, and that's how you fill it in. That's probably how I'm gonna do this. Instead of sectioning off into squares, I'm just gonna do one flower bud at a time, and it's just gonna be so fun to fill in. Can you tell how excited I am by how I'm waving my hands around? Oh my God, this is stunning. This is stunning. I like the way that they've charted it into a diamond painting even more than it looks in the actual painting. The actual painting, if I'm not mistaken, just looks like computerized flowers. Like, I don't really know how to describe it. It kind of looks cartoony, but also real. It's a very, I don't know. I don't know, how, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. What I'm trying to say is that I really like the rendering. It looks so much more better than I could have ever imagined. Inside, we have a thank you for your purchase. This is, I don't think I've, I don't know if I've seen this before. If I have, then I just threw it away. Uh, we are dedicated to providing you with the best quality kits and that you'll love each step of the way. Thank you for choosing us to be a part of your creative experience. We hope you enjoy our labor of love. Now it's time to unwind while creating something you'll be proud of. Dig in and create your dazzling masterpiece. And it tells you how to do it. It tells you about what's included in your kit. It tells you about the VIP group on Facebook for Diamond Art Club. And there is a QR code for 20% off your first purchase through the app. So I don't know if I'm supposed to give that away, but uh, oops, okay, cool. <laughs> okay. It also comes with a sticker sheet, which has a very large sticker of the artwork. It has the title, Rainbow Flower Power. It's by Lars Stewart. And it says the start and end date that you can fill in. It has a place for you to fill in when you start and when you end it, if you keep track of that. It's square, 98 centimeters by 70 centimeters large, very large. 
is so big. So big. Holy cow, there are so many ABs. I think there's six ABs, which is Aurora Borealis. I always look for those because they're extra pretty. They are drills that have an extra coating on them to make them iridescent um, and just really, really pop in your painting. So love that. All of the numbers below 150 are going to be your AB colors when it comes to Diamond Art Club kits. So there's six of them. That's incredible. I love this so much. Cool. Do you see the colors? Do you see? Can you open your eyes and see the pretty colors? They're so nice. Oh my goodness. That is just... Oh my. <laughs> So pretty. I'm speechless a little bit. Okay, so if you don't like to open your drills right away, the bags come with a sticker that tells you what kit it goes with, which is cool. And But I'm going to open it and I'm going to give you guys a drive-by view of the drills that are in this canvas because I feel like it's fun for you guys to see what kind of colors we're working with, which um, the answer is all of the colors <laughs> in this painting. All of them. Um, but it just gives you an idea of what kind of colors and vibes this painting is going to have when it's completed. Because sometimes the canvas, the colors, um, don't really show through as much as they do on the drills. The drills are obviously going to be a lot brighter than the background canvas. So, alright, I'm going to give you guys a drive-by and I will stop when I get to some AB colors. Something is spelling. Oh no! Oh my! Something is afoot! Okay, hold up. Hold up. Something is spilling and it is pink. Uh oh. Hopefully, I have enough drills in the canvas. If not, Diamond Art Club is always good about replacing drills if you don't have enough, but they do ask you to complete it first and then, um, see what, what all you need more of. Okay, that's concerning. I will check it out. Woo! Our first AB is an orange, which is lovely. You can see how it really catches the sunlight with that iridescent sparkle. I love it, number 132. Next AB is number 120, a beautiful, beautiful blue color. I might have had the same AB color when I was doing my Dahlia canvas with her blue hair. All right, our next AB color is a pretty vibrant one. Number 114, it is red and it is coated with an iridescent finish and like this really stands out on this color because it's just, yeah, it almost looks like it's reflecting like purple. I don't know, it's beautiful though. Beautiful, and there's two bags. There's a lot of ABs. They did not, they were not shy with the ABs on this canvas. Wow, our next AB, which is right next to like a regular bag of drills, and oh my gosh, the regular drills are even just so shiny that sometimes they look like ABs as well. But our next AB is 113. I forget how many that's been now, so <laughs> I hope you guys are keeping track. Chartreuse, my fave, my second favorite color. On another AB, number 127, it's kind of a flesh color. I kind of hate that word, I don't know why I'm using it. Oh my goodness, look at this one, number 126. It's uh, a nice lavender color. Okay, and I think that the straggler drills must have come out of this one, 3609. It looks very similar. I think it came out of this one, the very last one here, but I don't see any holes in it. 
So I don't know. I think they just hopped along out of the factory. So hopefully I have enough. That is a really small little amount, which means that I probably don't need that much in the painting. So hopefully, I mean, it's good that it wasn't like a main color that I needed, but quite a few are loose. I don't, I'm trying to be careful here. I don't, maybe there is a hole. There has to be a hole because I keep getting more and more falling out. This is not good. Diamond Art Club, this is not good. Anyways, I'm going to have to be very careful with that and put that in a baggie right away. But that's the only problem I see with the drills. Other than that, the drills look really pretty and sparkly. And I love the ABs that we got. And in just a bit, after we take a look at the canvas, I'm going to show you guys where the ABs go. I'm assuming in the flowers, but uh, can't be too sure, can you? Let's get a closer up view of this beautiful canvas. So each corner kind of starts out at a different color. This kind of reminds me of my yarn wall in my craft room where uh, it just kind of all fades into each other. I love this so much. So let's just start at one corner. This is a very large canvas. Here's my hand, and it's, it's just big. It does not fit in the camera view. It starts with red florals in this corner, and then if we slide down, it goes into pinks. I love, oh my gosh, I see a beautiful orchid flower right here in the corner. I love orchids. My top favorite flowers are orchids, hydrangeas, dahlias. I love carnations. Um, what is your favorite flower? if you're watching. Uh, that kind of looks like a dahlia right there. It's beautiful. Uh, I also love hydrangeas. I hope there's a hydrangea in here. I do, I see a hydrangea, I'll get to it. So then we go into purple down here at the bottom. Beautiful purples. This is gonna be my favorite section to work on. <laughs> like these colors, this, this like, all these purples, this is just heaven for me right here. I love it. Okay, we're gonna keep going along the bottom of the canvas and then it fades into blue. And yes, there is a hydrangea, it's hiding behind here. <laughs> but it does look like a hydrangea, which I love. And then if we go into the green flowers, they the artist chose to input succulents, a lot of different like little succulents because that's typically, they look like flowers and they're green, so. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> um, and then we go into the yellows in the top right corner, which are beautiful. I love this hibiscus flower right here. Yeah, and yeah, I'm definitely going to work on this by doing one flower at a time because I just think it'll look so beautiful filled in that way. That's just going to be so much fun. And then we have our oranges before we get back to the reds. So we just did a little around the world tour there of this beautiful canvas. This is amazing. I can't even express to you how much I love it. I love floral diamond paintings. I have done quite a few diamond, painting, diamond paintings now at this point and the funnest ones to work on for me personally has been flowers because flowers come in every color, obviously, <laughs> rainbow. They come in every color and they're beautiful and it just translates really well to diamond painting form plus florals and flowers are wonderful pieces of art i freaking love this painting i don't remember how much it was i think it was like 60 or 70 dollars i'll put it up on screen it was a lot it was a lot but it's very large it is going to keep you entertained for a minute and it's beautiful so what more can you want? <laughs> what more can you want? So let's do a quick little looky-loo where the AB drills are located in this canvas. Okay, so we have six AB colors. The first one is, that I'm just pulling, it's not the first. I mean, okay, the first one. We'll go with the first one, pink. Pink, which is gonna be in the pink flowers. Ta-da. I am so smart. It is the number one symbol, so let's see where I see that. Where do I see the number one? I pretty much see it in all of the flowers. Like, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, pretty much all of the flowers have a pink AB highlight around them. That's why there's so much of this. It's not really highlighting one particular flower. It's more so dispersed along the lines of 
most of them if not all of them to make all of them pop so there are some floral paintings that i've done where the i the ab's are mapped to just make certain flowers pop out but this one like all of these pink flowers have uh this pink ab in it for some in some way as far as the purple this is symbol number four this purple and let's see where we see this mapped out. I'm assuming in the purple, <laughs> that would make sense. I'm not seeing too much of this one. Obviously the packet is smaller, but this flower right here is highlighted a lot with the, the purple AB. And then we have a little bit around the edges of this flower. And uh, I don't see too much more outside of that. There's some in the center of this flower down here that you can't see right here. There's some in the center of there, but they're kind of, they're not as, as um, intense as the pink. So yeah, I'm sad about that a little because I really like this AB and I would like that there was more of it, but that's totally cool. Now that we go into the blue section, this flower right here actually has some of the purple ABs in it. Oh my gosh, this canvas is so big. It's hard to even maneuver around the camera. Um, so this flower actually has some of these purple ABs in it, highlighting the edges of it, which is really, that's cool. That's cool. So that, that's going to be a very pretty flower with blues and purples in it. I already know when it comes to this one, this one's the, the symbol for this is number three, the number three. And, um, let's see where that is. So the number three is in the center of this flower and it's also highlighting this flower in the middle. Almost this entire flower right here in the corner, these two actually are all made of ABs. Wow, <laughs> that's gonna be a blingy flower, I will tell you. So almost this whole flower is made of ABs. That's, wow, okay, that's really cool. That's cool, so this right here, this section is going to be this color mostly then if we take a trip to the green unfortunately we don't have any green ab's in this kit but maybe some of these are uh inside of here i'm not sure let's take a look i don't think so i don't think the succulents kind of are meant to pop out at you i guess very much unless this flesh colored one is in there number 127 the symbol for that is five nope Nope, I don't think there's any ABs in the in the succulent section. So, okay, interesting, interesting. It's just like, in, how do they decide where to put these? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who makes those decisions. Then if we go up here to the, I gotta like slide this down without dropping it. Oy, 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 oy. If we go up here to the yellow and orange section, of course we are going to have these in here there's a lot of these so i'm assuming that they are everywhere the symbol for this is actually a this time a and i see a is everywhere a is for everywhere so i don't see them in these flowers as much there's some in the lions and the creases over here i'm not even in frame there's some in the lions and the creases over here um but there is still there's some in this like rose there's a lot of A's here in the center, and there's not really much in this hibiscus. There is a ton in these flowers right here, a ton of A's all throughout. And yeah, kind of in the center here, there's just like A's kind of everywhere. But it's interesting because some flowers don't get any A-B's. They don't get any love. I don't know why, like this flower, this would look like this would have a bunch right there, right? It doesn't. Oh, it has some, it has a few, but not like a ton. It's only just like a little highlighting. Anyways, uh-huh, okay. Last color, we have red and we have two bags of those. So I think those are gonna be quite popular as well. And you know guys, I probably missed a lot of this, you know? There's probably ABs in every single flower in this painting because there's six ABs and I, you know, probably missed it a little bit, but we're just doing a drive-by overview. That's all. This color is the number two, the number two symbol, which is all over again, 
all over here, all over this rose, all in here, even in this flower, in the center of this flower. So there is a bees in this flower, they're just red. So everywhere. The, okay, short answer is a bees are everywhere in this campus. <laughs> That's the short answer. You got a bees everywhere. A is for everywhere, all over, and I'm really excited about it. The only place there's really not any a bees is the succulents, but I guess it kind of makes sense because succulents are more matte, I guess. They don't really look glossy, so it makes sense in my brain. I think it makes sense. This painting is beautiful. Uh, you guys should run, not walk, to get this one. I have no idea. Diamond Art Club carries so many wonderful artworks that I don't know. You never know how long they're going to keep something around or when it is going to be discontinued. That's why the FOMO is so real and it is such a struggle to convince yourself not to buy every artwork. I just like, I like the idea of collecting and owning artwork from artists that are so talented and artwork that makes me happy. I will get to these someday. I have the rest of my life. <laughs> happy anniversary Diamond Art Club and thank you to each and every person who watched this video. Don't forget on your way out to like and subscribe and comment. Please interact with this video. It's really helpful for YouTubers. I know that you may think, well, I don't really know what to comment, but even if you just say anything that you thought while watching this video, or even if you just say hi and put a flower emoji, I don't care. It's really helpful for especially small creators um, to help their videos get discovered and get them out there. And I'm definitely trying to grow my channel. So it would mean so much to me if you like, commented, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'm going to be live streaming again and my schedule has been posted on social medias. It's great. If you would like a crafty community to get involved in, please come on out and check out my Discord server. Mine is separate than Cal Pals. It's called Muna Family I'm a Ding Dong. If you are kind of nerdy and you like gaming and you like a variety of crafts, come on down. Munifam Lamadine Nong is the place for you. <laughs> so come join us. And as always, a huge thank you to my Kofi members. You guys are awesome for supporting me each month. Uh, as a Kofi member, you get early access to my videos and a special access to a chat room where I talk to you guys about decisions I'm making about my YouTube channel. So if you would like to support and be a little bit more invested in what I'm doing here, check it out. I surely appreciate it. Thanks guys, have a great day. Hopefully your allergies are under control. <laughs> Just looking at this gives me allergies to be honest with you, but I don't mind. Anyways, I love you guys and I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day and happy crafting. I'll see you guys soon, bye.